Hey and welcome to a new video tutorial by Crockfix. Today I'm going to show you the upgrade options of a laptop, the model number is HP 255G8 and if you want any good deals for the RAM upgrades or SSD, find the links in the video description. Don't forget to subscribe. We have here today an HP laptop, the model number is 255G8 and we want to upgrade our SSD and our RAM. So I want to show you how to open it and uh, disassemble it. It's an easy procedure and you should be able to do it very fast. So the first thing what we gonna do is I will put here something down that I won't scratch the laptop. Okay, then let's go and turn it around. I'm turning it around this way that the hinges of the display are here. So now, now you will need to do following. Uh, firstly, in one corner, in the uh, right or left corner, you will need a pry tool, tweezers, small screwdriver, or maybe even um, a knife. And then you will have to lift up this rubber here because there are screws under the rubber. So once you lift it up here, I will zoom in this. Once you lift it up here, then you can just pull it away. Be sure that when you lift it, you lift it really from the bottom so the um, double-sided adhesive tape will still be on the rubber. And then you ju just can pull. It is, it's just sticked to the frame. So, okay. Then just remember which one is on the top. And then we will do... Then we will do uh, the same with the bottom rubber. So just decide where you want to start and you can use a knife and lift up this rubber carefully. Don't damage it. There we go. So you will see now we have here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven screws. So actually there are uh, five silver ones and two black screws here on the bottom side. We need to unscrew this first. Okay, once they are unscrewed, we will need to lift up this back cover. So we are going to turn it around. Lift up the screen. And then we will try to make a gap here between the back frame and the middle frame here. Use a plastic pry tool, otherwise you could scratch the, um, the plastic here. Sometimes it's easier to put it that way on the screen, carefully. And now you can easily here make a gap. You just need to hear the click sounds, then you know that it will disassemble soon.
then you go here on the right side if you can't really go and uh, open it you can try you go with an uh, with a thin uh, pry tool here and then I will show you just a second like here you go and uh, try to maybe work yourself around a little bit there you go I will lift up the camera a little bit so ha you have a better view. You can help yourself also by leaning to, towards the laptop set it, so it won't slip away. There you go. Once this is done, you just move it a little bit left, right, and it will just fall away. There we go. So we are now inside the laptop here. Let's make a bit brighter picture. You see here on the left side, there is the RAM slot which you can upgrade and here we have the SSD which we can also replace. So the model number of the battery is HW03XL just in case if you want to replace it. If you want to replace it there are here one, two, three, four screws which are holding the battery here in place there is no flex cable, you just need to lift it up and replace the battery here easily. So as this uh, laptop only has um, 256 gigabytes of uh, SSD and 8 gigabytes of RAM, we will upgrade this with an ADATA uh, 512 gigabytes of SSD and another 8 gigabytes of RAM. So we will have at the end uh, 16 gigabytes of RAM and then 512 gigabyte of SSD. So the first thing what you should do, I'm gonna show you, I will turn this around now here, this way, I'm gonna disconnect the battery. Always disconnect the battery first when you upgrade your computer. To avoid any short circuit. So the four screws are removed and as I said the battery HW03XL we are going to remove here lift up slowly that's it and that's the battery so once we have removed it we will now go and insert the additional RAM memory here stick it in, click down, okay, that's the additional RAM and now we are going to replace the SSD here. For this we are going to unscrew first this screw, take out the SSD, and we are going to open 
a new one. If you need any parts or tools like the battery, SSD or RAM, I have provided the links in the video description. Just click on more under the video. There we have our SSD. NVMW memory. So, the Legend 710 I see is provided with a small heatsink. We will apply this one here. Firstly, we are going to remove this sticker. Underneath, there is a thin layer of adhesive tape, which is also an heat spreader, um, heat spreader tape. There we go, find a good position. And then stick it on the SSD. You don't need to press very hard, as it's enough if it's just gently pressed. So, that's it. Now we are going to insert the SSD. Take the screw here. And screw that in place. Just soft, don't use too much force here. It's not needed. So there we go. SSD is attached. Additional RAM is attached. We are going to put back the battery now. And we are good to go. That's our battery. You put it back from the top. Here where the contacts are. You gently press it in. And then you press it here in the corners. We will put back the four screws. And then we are going to take back the back cover. Just check where is the position of the hinges here. Put it in place. Be sure it's correctly aligned. And then you can gently press it in here on all sides. Here you can lift it up. You divide from the screen and then you press with your fingers gently back to the frame in every corner. You should click here the click sound and you should see that it's perfectly aligned to the frame. You can also open it here and press also on the top here. Then you close it, check again, and that's it. We are going to put back the screws, four silver ones on the top, And then on the bottom there is one silver screw here. And two black ones.
Then we are going to reattach the rubber. Uh, just be sure you attach it right. There is one small tooth here which needs to go in this hole. So you can't turn it around. Gently press it down. And then we take the second here and it's the same story. There is a small hole here and the small tooth needs to go in this hole. Gently press it here and then stick it to the frame. There we go, perfect. So, that's your HP. Upgraded and good to go. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. If the video did somehow help you, then you can buy me a coffee. Donations are always appreciated. Thank you. You find a donation link in my about page and in the video description. Please also like, comment and share the video. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel.